Hello once again everyone, welcome to Kruznik's Purgatory. I'm your host, Kruznik X. Uh, in the last episode, we are well on our way to becoming a full-fledged scholar, but we have a few setbacks. Um, in the last episode, we visited Omdapur Keep to find some remnants of Satoto's late father. And we did find some... <laughs> Excuse me. We did find some, but unfortunately, one of those things was her father's soul crystal, which contained the fairy that had been in her family for generations. Upon trying to summon it, it summoned an or a, a strange orb that immediately flew away and ended up leaving Satoto in a coma. <laughs> So, no one knows what's going to happen in the next few... Well, we can only guess what's going to happen sooner or later. But let's get right down to it with the level 68 Scholar Quest, The Chase. Chris, something's terribly wrong. Ever since she collapsed, Satoto hasn't so much as stirred. According to Sorito Carito, the sickness transforms not only the body, but also the quality of the afflicted, uh, the afflicted individual's ether. As such, attempting to summon Lilac in her current state likely drained her of nearly all of her vitality. A bit of rest, however, should have been enough to replenish her reserves, and she should be awake by now. The fact that she's not means something else is amiss. Please, go and have a word with Surito Kaito, scholar to scholar. Perhaps if you were to combine your wits, you might learn what is wrong. I shall remain here and look after Satoto. You know, in all fairness, you could have brought him here. You know? Hidden him away somewhere? I mean, really. How hard is that? I don't remember him having to maintain the ward once it was put into place. <clears throat> but anyway, we're back in... The Wanderer's Palace. Gotta love it. So Satoto still slumbers on. So Satoto still slumbers on. Normally, when scholars summon their fairies, they do so by extracting a portion of the ether circulating through their body and willing it to take shape. By releasing that form, they can then dismiss it, and the ether will flow back into their bodies. That is what should have happened to S Satoto when she fell unconscious. I cannot understand why she remains asleep. Unless... What if she only managed a partial summoning? There is a possibility that all of Satoto's ether fled from her body upon calling to Lilac, causing her to then fall unconscious before the fairy could fully manifest. That would mean this unbound phantom is out there somewhere, aimlessly roaming the land and preventing her from regaining consciousness. You and Alka must hurry to find and dispatch of it before it wanders too far. It may be the only way to wake her. Yeah, no pressure or anything. All right, we've got our info. Finally, you've returned. What did Sarito Carito have to say? 
a partially summoned familiar? Then as Cerrito Carito suggests, we must hunt this thing down and destroy it. Do you recall how right before Satoto fell unconscious at the ruins, a purple sphere of light appeared before us? That must be the phantom fairy to which she refers. Problem is, the moment it materialized, it vanished from Omdapur Keep. There's no telling where it could have gone. The two of you are looking awfully somber. What's wrong? Hmm. Does this thing by any chance resemble a floating violet orb? So you've seen it? No, but lately many of the whalers have been claiming they've encountered a specter in the forest. In fact, the reports have been so numerous in number that I've been given orders to investigate the matter. Interestingly enough, the description they've given me seems to match this phantom fairy of yours. Aye, that'll be it, all right. Well, I'd like to immediately begin my search of this fairy specter. There are a few rather pressing matters I must attend to first. Not to worry. Chris and I will take it from here. We've And we've already troubled you enough as it is. Very well, then. My men have spotted the thing along the upper paths in Snake Vault. You may want to begin by searching the both those places. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for the young lady. It's not as though I could simply stand by to watch as a helpless girl fights for her life. <sighs> it may not seem it, but somewhere in that man is a good heart. Now then! Let's immediately begin surveying the la areas Landonel mentioned. You take the upper paths, and I'll go to snake mode. This is not the upper paths. You know, it's nothing out of the ordinary. There we are. Nothing out of the ordinary. Why around Isamhar, really? Out of the corner of your eye, you see an eerie glowing presence flowing fo th th mm, toward you. It releases a hideous scream and you find yourself under attack. There we go. Let's head back to Tranquil.
Ah, it's about time you came, my friend. I was beginning to grow concerned when one of the and one of the beasts in the forest had gotten the better of you. I myself encountered a fair few woodland creatures during my search, one of which was a purple sphere of light. Alas, it turned out to be simply a will-o'-the-wisp. By the expression on your face, I assume your investigation went no better. <sighs> Where the seven hells did that thing fly off to? There you are. Just moments ago, one of my men was attacked by your fairy. Well, what? According to him, it disappeared into the lost city of Omdapur. We won't be able to give chase just yet, however. Entry into the area is heavily restricted due to the darkness which permeates it. We need to, re we need to receive permission from the Order of the Twin Adder. I shall go and request that right now. In the meantime, I ask that you wait here. Landonel, with all due respect, why is it that you're so intent on helping us? To put it bluntly, the fairy is our responsibility, not yours. I told you before, green of skin or not, I cannot stand to see the young girl la suffer. After all, the duty of the strong is to protect the weak. Now, if the two of you are planning on joining me in this fight against the fairy phantom, I suggest you begin making preparations. Taking this thing down is going to be no easy task. Yeah. Alright. We've got ourselves a fight. When next we go live, we will be finishing the Stormblood Scholar storyline with the level six the level 70 quest our unsung heroes. But until then, that's it for this episode of Cruise Nick's Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live in PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button below and be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the Stormblood ending of Path of the Scholar. And click here to watch the previous episode. Until next time, Cruzic X, signing out.